Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back in. I've done it again. I am, I've, I've done it again and I'm very proud of myself, okay? For the second time in a row, when 2K has dropped like some new challenges, some new grindable content, for the second time in a row, your boy Jay did it and did it in a timely manner, okay? If you remember last month or a few weeks ago when they dropped moments of the month, Galaxy Opal Damar, I unlocked Damar, did all those challenges in about a week and I felt very good about myself. Usually with this kind of stuff, it's not very quick. But for the second time in a row, 2K dropped on Friday, which is two days ago, literally two days from when I'm recording this. They dropped these new, I think, push for the playoffs agendas. Is that what they're called? I don't know. It, it doesn't matter. I wasn't paying attention because I was too busy completing it, bruh. Look at this here in our season four rewards. They're not to categorize specifically. I don't like that, but you see it, man. Brooke Lopez, Tim Hardaway, Ben Gort, all these pink diamonds, all these diamonds and amethyst. I'm only missing one card and uh, I'm not actually missing that card. It's right here. Award booster, Jason Tatum, dude. In two days, I completed, uh, I can't, I think it's called push for the playoffs. I don't know, for free Galaxy Opal, Jason Tatum, brat. Like I am, uh, I'm pretty impressed with myself. This is the second time in a row. Like I said, Damar first, now Tatum, where I'm doing these challenges in a quick fashion. It took me probably eight to 10 hours in total this weekend. And we get to a Jason Tatum and I can use them in limited, which is fun because I don't have my ring yet. Also the card art this year, 2K just really outdid themselves this year. That card art is fire. Like we can all agree, right? Right? Now, let me just tell you about these challenges in case you didn't know, in case you guys like haven't logged in all weekend, um, you'll find them in the season agendas. You don't see it here for me because I've completed them. But if we go to completed season agenda, they are right here. Playoff push and there's one for each division. So there's six sets of five challenges and each of them follow the same structure, starting with a very simple win a triple threat offline game. And then it goes up with challenges, both offline. Some of them are online, like get 16 assists and triple threat online. They're not necessarily easy. Um, but they're not too difficult. It's just kind of time consuming. Once you get all those done, you get like five players from each division from Ruby up to pink diamond. Then you have to go in and win six clutch time games with specific cards. Now that was a pretty big challenge, but again, I'm pr pretty sure it took me. I didn't keep track officially, but eight to 10 hours. You do have to get lucky with some of the online stuff. If you're playing people who are going to sweat, it makes it really difficult, but the offline stuff you can fly through. I will say my one tip is you kind of have to match up these challenges. Like they aren't sequent you can't knock off like this challenge for pink diamond tim hardway until you've done the first four but if you line up challenges across the divisions for example get 25 rebounds with kevin willis over multiple multiplayer games if you line that up with this jose calderon one get 16 assists you can do both those cards together in triple threat online and then if you search even further you can find like make five dunks with trevor ariza and multiplayer now you've got three players to run with in triple threat online all of their stats are counting towards these challenges that would be my quick advice. But anywho, with all those challenges done, I know you guys can do it. If I could do it, we get this Jason Tatum. He's a small forward, power forward, six foot eight, and they changed his jump shot. It's not the usual clunky Tatum jumper. So I haven't used this card. Obviously I just opened him at 94 three point. I have very high expectations, really good perimeter and interior defense, just a super well-rounded card. Like it feels like you could run him at the four. I'm not going to, but all the flame cut, fame clamps, limitless spot up sniper. Oh my word. This card is deadly, bruh. And like I did with that galaxy, Opal Damar video a while back. I'm going to put together the cards that I think, in my opinion, are the best from this collection. It's hard to narrow it down, but these are the cards that I consider to be the most usable. Um, the good thing about those challenges is you have to use these cards at least for like one or two online games. So Larry Hughes, I'm sure y'all have heard about it. Point guard eligible, six foot five, great animations. This card is absolutely legit. I really dig this Ben Gordon card. He's six foot three. Can also run the point guard, which would be smarter. Really good shooter. And again, great jumper. We've got Tatum, my boy, Larry. Larry Johnson, always one of my favorite cards, Brad, just because he is in the big men position from this collection. Not great, but Brooke Lopez, a seven foot center who can stretch floor 93, three. He's really, really slow, but at least he can shoot. Other than that off the bench, I'm going to rock with this Jose Calderon. He can at least facilitate this Terrence man. Sneaky good. I really like his jumper. I don't know which jumper it is, but it's felt smooth. I've got Gordon Hayward, Joe Smith, DeAndre Ayton, the bigs. Again, I don't love the bigs that you unlock here, but they're kind of solid. Even Nick Anderson, really good Ruby off the bench. Thad Young, not bad. So plenty of cards that will be worth it, like down the road in limited, for example, doing some other stuff, challenges. I'm going to see how they play online. And of course, I want to see Tatum first and foremost.
next. Okay, opponent today. Oh, he's been grinding clutch time. Well, not recently. Uh, yeah, an offline demon. Okay, I can beat this dude. Oh, what was I thinking? I didn't even put my Boston Celtics jerseys on for Tatum or wear my Celtics hoodie. Am I even a good content creator? Wow. Wait a minute. Tatum got a mismatch. Oh man, I need to learn better post. Oh wow. Oh wow. Tatum just blew right past the defender. That was a really quick first step. Okay, that was so ugly, but uh, yeah, that first quick step, uh, really, that was good. That was good. This dude is playing some really weird strategy here. Really, really weird. He's just running, running to the corner with Dame and air ball. Well, that was, again, I'll say very, very weird. Tatum, pull up. Bruh. Yeah, okay, that was contested. First jump rotate, I'm not good, but I definitely dig that animation. That felt that felt like it's going to be smooth if I take a smarter shot. Good block, Brook. And he gets the rebound and paint mashes on me. Of, of course, that's that's 22 for you. All right, let's get some rhythm to this gameplay right here. Let's get some rhythm. Tatum going this way. Oh, I should have shot that on the fade. I really should have shot that. Uh, I'll drop a dime instead, though. Good cut, Brook Lopez. All right, I'm not sure if Tatum feels that quick with the ball. That's a good step. No, it's not a good step back. Okay. I'm trying to force things with my boy Jay, nope. and it is not working. Could I make a shot? How about that one? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is an ugly gameplay. This is officially an ugly gameplay, and he makes that, really. Tatum on the big dunk finish. Maybe we get him going that way. I love it. I'm bringing the bench in, but I am keeping my boy Jason Tatum in, which is not smart because then he's just going to get very tired, and I'm going to continue to make him look bad or not, or he'll get the big finish. There we go. My opponent is not very good. Like, I don't know why I can't find open three. Oh, there's an open three. Terrence Mann. Perfect. Yes, sir. That's the jump. Dude, his jumper low-key feels like Exum base from last year. I know it's not, like I looked it up, but it gives me Exum base vibes. It's so weird. That's why I chose him for the team. Oh, my guy's full core pressing now. Wait a minute. I can pull that with Tatum. Yes. Yeah. And one. <laughs> wow, he drew a free throw. It didn't get the, uh, it didn't get like the crowd animation there. He got a contest, but I'll take three free ones. Good defense. Yes, sir. DeAndre Ayton. Very good rim protector. Yo, Terrence Mann's open again. That was bad. That was bad. I saw that contest coming, uh, but I'll keep the ball. Thank you. Oh, there goes the Gatorade icon for Tatum. There it goes. There it goes, but I'm inside. Bro, I have 13 points with Tatum, which is pretty good. I haven't taken or hit like any threes, which is weird, but bro, at least I'm showing he can be effective one way or another. Oh no, we'd be, we'd be in that up, bro. And he's about to lead me to a quit. You already know. Oh yeah, lob. Lob finish. Lob finish even with the gatorade icon let's go tatum oh yo we, we got take with tatum he's so tired but we got sharpshooting take okay okay i have to take at least one shot with him while he's got sharpshooting take like it just it has to be done step back in the corner nah that ain't it let's go tatum over Kyrie. over Ky over Kyrie. <laughs> i've seen enough i've seen enough the card is a beast what do you want from me bruh no chance we're going the distance with this opponent let me sidestep you let me go right to the rim for another finish bro if i can't shoot threes uh at least like i'm scoring a ton of points end of discussion All right, man, opponent didn't want to quit, which actually I was fine by because I wanted to try out and uh, showcase a little montage of some of the other cards, the non-Tatum cards. So at least you guys could see like some jump shot animation, see what some cards can do. Um, I don't know if this at all helped anybody, but uh, whatever. <laughs> it's helped me gain confidence playing 2K because this is a big win and my opponent's not good. So I probably shouldn't flex, but I'm gonna anyways. I would say again, I'm not sure like how many of these cards are like comp for a lot of you who have great teams, but like that Ben Gordon, I showed, I got off with him. I, I hit like three shots in a row, three, three, something like that. If nothing else, these cards are all, or most of them are like really good and will be for like limited lineups. Like a bunch of them are eligible this weekend and they're free. Like you don't need to spend that much time on it. I don't know. I think it's pretty worth it. Oh, I just got crossed up. I don't know if this Tatum either is considered comp. I don't know what, you know, Ty and BBG and some of those people are saying, but for me, free cards, free Galaxy Opal at this point in the year. He's very good. Like I have 26 points with him. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do not regret doing those challenges at all. Even though the challenges were, by the way, some of them, some of them were stressful. Too, mu too much clutch time with cards that are not very good. <laughs> but there you go. Look at Tatum greeting off the bounce. And we finish up with a 40 point victory using all these new cards. Um, I didn't think my opponent was that bad. He was greeting a lot of shots, but maybe he just 
wanted to let me win. I don't know, but I'll take it. And our new homie in town, Jason Tatum, Galaxy Opal, 29, five and four, 11 of 16 from the field, only two of four from deep. He was really running me off the three point line, but the couple shots I did get loose, including that one over Kyrie, his jumper's green, Brad, it really is. And I really like this Jason Tatum card. I hope you guys really like this video too. I put a lot of time and effort into unlocking these cards. So hope you guys appreciate it for the content. And uh, I'm sure I'll be using Jason Tatum a lot more in the future because that card's really nice. But let me know if you guys are doing the challenges in the comment section, if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one, y'all. Peace.